Hello everyone, it's FSC Mario here. Uh, this isn't exactly a uh, like a casual grinding video or anything. I'm probably going to be doing. I did a start. Uh, some sorry, I'll starring there. I did some videos before, kind of like drama a lot, because uh, I was this like you know Keemstar. I don't think anyone knows Keemstar, but he made these like drama channels. I mean, he made a drama channel that did drama on like, gaming channels. And in this kind of episode of My Health Heroes Drama, I'm going to be talking about Zarta Droid YT. Now, Zarta Droid is... I guess I could mess, not message him. He's currently banned. Zarta Droid YouTube. He's currently banned. I'm not sure why. But this user is really disliked in the Helmet Heroes community. He's pretty much disliked because there is there's a lot of drama surrounding him. I guess I might need to do two videos about this. But basically, what happened was he he's hacked around. I'd say five people, four people so far. And because of this, he is widely known as a scum, or pretty much a scumbag in the community. Now, recently, there's been an event where there's a few... Uh, one user got his password. I'm not going to name that user. But someone got someone else's password. Oh. Hi. <laughs> someone else got someone's password. Got, he got Zarta's password. Sorry, just talking to someone in game. So he got someone. This user got Zarta's password, and in a small community group chat, they were talking about doing things like getting his password and spreading it around, telling other people his password. And basically, I feel like this is a bit of a scum, scummy move themselves because, um. Sorry. Bas so I feel like it's bad because even though Zarta did hack people, that is a very terrible thing. Like, I don't see why people hack on other games. But hacking a hacker is not the best way to suit and fix that. If you hack someone, you're as bad as the hacker. The amount of people you hack doesn't lessen or make your self any better or worse. If if you're once a hacker, then you'll pretty much always be a hacker. Even if you just... Even if you literally take, just take a few items from the account, that is still hacking or thieving. Hacking is a massive problem in every MMORPG game. And even if you just steal something or thief from another user, that's unfair on that person. Even if that person is also known as a bad user. That is hacking. You're as bad as that user. You stoop you stoop down to their level and you are now recognized as that. No, I still play. <sighs> I might be talking about third first person here, I'm sorry for that. But I'm not I'm not trying to get him to be sent hate. But I feel like what these users are doing to make Zarta's life unfair and his account hacked is wrong. I've already emailed, not emailed, I've messaged Zarta personally to change his pass and I'm also going to be emailing Robbie about the whole situation because even though, ha so hacking's, even though hacking is an issue in this game, um, it's also just, you can't really solve it if it's piloting. So I'll give you a rundown of what happened. These 5-4 users, they're also known people in the community. And they trusted someone to go on their account, pilot it, and then do whatever else. The terms of service states, your password should not be shared. So if they do get hacked from piloting, that is their fault. Robbie can't give you anything back because that's it's against the terms of service, but piloting isn't fully against the rules. So even if you did get hacked, it's your fault. Now I personally agree with this because even though I have pilots, I trust people who I've known for a year on this game. 
I don't time it like literally, but I only p let people pilot me who I know very well, most likely have Skype and talk to me, so we can communicate more efficiently. I'm sorry for the lag, by the way. This is kind of a bit of a messy gameplay, but this is me talking over the gameplay instead of me just typing in chat because that would be even more boring than usual. So, back to the situation. I feel like this whole concept of hacking a hacker is not correct. If you hack a hacker, you are then a hacker, even if you're just trying to get revenge. If there's two different forms of hacking, I would say greed hacking is worse than normal hacking, but revenge hacking is worse than greed hacking. If you get revenge from someone, that is probably the lowest level you can stoop in hacking. Because they were talking about sharing his password to many users. I know there's only 200 on at the moment, but the U password would spread throughout the whole entire game, would spread throughout the whole entire Filipino community, and the account would pretty much be done. So there's no point in that user trying to play again because their account is gone. And I understand people may believe that it's justice that this account is going to be gone and this user is going to quit. But that's still one more hacker in the world. So there's no there's no real need to hack a hacker. All you really need to do is not trust them. Because it's your fault if you trust the wrong user. You can't blame Robbie, you can't blame anyone else. You have you can only blame yourself if your pilot or someone trusted with your password has went into your account and stole something. So that is what I pretty much want to talk about. That's something that's been on my mind recently. And I understand you guys might not care, but since I haven't got many ideas for Helmet Heroes videos, I thought, hey, this is quite new, this is quite appearing, why don't I talk about this? So I'm most likely going to be doing some form of part 2 about this too, and it will be showing the forums and how he acts and how everything is. So I would like to thank you all for watching my video. If you enjoyed, leave a subscribe, leave a like, and if you want to suggest anything else in the comments, then please do. But for now, I will see you guys later. Peace.